Cassidy, if you recall, we heard the very familiar encounter between Jesus and a rich young man. The man was seeking a mentor and spiritual wisdom to help guide him on the journey to eternal life. And Jesus confronts him with a challenge. He says, take yourself and all that you have and spend everything on others. Then you will find true happiness in time and in eternity. While well, the young man, although he had never stolen anything or defrauded anyone, just could not compel himself to be generous. Just as the rich young man was worried about his possessions, so also today we see how Peter is concerned about what he will get for following Jesus. And he was crudely honest about it. You know, what's in it for me? And this is why this is such a great gospel to prepare us for Ash Wednesday, because it brings out two common struggles in our spiritual, spiritual life. First, am I willing to let go of something in order to follow Jesus Christ? And secondly, what exactly do I get out of following Jesus? You know, sometimes we pray, oh, Lord Jesus, it better be good or I'm going to be one bitter child of yours. Peter's words today ought to resonate with us when he says, we have given up everything and followed you. I'm sure so many of us are already on Lent mode on this day before Ash Wednesday, figuring out what we will give up this Lent. Some of us probably are resolving that this will be the Lent that we cut down on the sweets and carbs and exercise more. Lent 22 is when we're finally going to make a generous and meaningful donation to some charitable cause. It is the Lent when we're going to watch a little less Netflix and instead spend more time reading scripture and so forth and so forth. All of that is certainly well and good, but perhaps we ought to consider giving up something more profound more meaningful, and far more crucial to our spiritual well-being. What do I mean? Well, like giving up on our anger and resentment at someone, giving up on our fear of offering our help, excuse me, our help, because we might say or do the wrong thing, giving up on our refusal to forgive someone who has wronged us, and while we're at it, why not give up on regrets and instead find a way to forgive yourself and face the fact that we all make mistakes, but we can learn from them. Give up on excuses and being lazy. Give up on stress. Stress does not help in solving our problems, but only decreases our productivity and it violates our health. And how about giving up on complaining and criticizing and instead practice understanding, patience, and gratitude? Make this Lent the kind of, the kind of Lent that we're giving, we're giving up enables us to take on the work of the gospel, and that is forgiveness, reconciliation, peace, and mercy. Make this leap of faith. Because in surrendering what we have in this world to the service of the gospel of Jesus, we gain everything in our next life. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today. It's a blessing that you are with us. Every broadcast of this liturgy goes out to hundreds of people and hundreds of people all over the world. It's been an enormous blessing. If you'd like to support this virtual ministry of OLPH, please go to our website. You can support this ministry by going to Give Central so that we can continue to broadcast the liturgy each and every week. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Greetings from OLPH.